All right, so here's what's going on. I got woke up at 7.30 in the freaking morning. So I made some coffee. Here's my little cup of coffee. My little cup of coffee and uh, you get the good stuff, you know? I haven't drank coffee, I drank a cup maybe, I'm, this is the first cup I've had in six months. I've maybe had, this is my fourth cup of coffee in like six years. I get the good stuff, as you can tell. You get it at the dollar store. I cracked it open today, put a little coffee and clue in there, and then, you know, don't tell my mom, she'll think I'm nuts and a drunk. Actually, I didn't use clue, that was a joke. I used chocolate milk. <laughs> But uh, my mom likes to um, pretend that I'm a, uh, whatever, she can like make anything she can make up in her mind, put me down and say I'm like some psycho. I was gonna give you a deck tour, but I think I'll do it later. Um, I have one thing to say though. I told this fucking asshole yesterday, don't fucking wake me up. So what's he do? He shows up at my boat. Checkout isn't even night till 9 a.m. He knocks on my fucking boat at 7.30 in the morning. I'm an insomniac. I specifically told him that. I had a conversation with him about it. Don't fucking wake me up. So what's the guy do? He shows up at 7.30. I get to sleep at 6, right? Three hours would be great. 6 to 9, take me. I just roll out of bed and I'm gone. You know, I'm a guy. I'm used to working on boats. You roll out of bed, you go to deck and put your gloves on. That's it. The motherfucker wakes me. I said, I'm very unhappy. Why are you waking me up at 7.30? Oh, because I decided to let you know you'd be out by 9. What do you think I have to do? Get up and fucking take a shower and fucking print my fucking butt hairs? Or what are you thinking? I couldn't believe it. And I had this talk with him. But anyway, that's my bitch for today. Check out these cute girls. They're all swimming over there. I don't know where they're going. Can you see them? Okay, I'll give you a little deck tour. So yesterday I changed my jib sheets. Look at this. Beautiful. That's like a thousand bucks. Then I noticed my uh, backup anchor. I have it just kind of sitting upside down with its chain on it right here. But my new jib sheet, if you notice up, up front, my new jib sheet gets caught on it. Here's how I'm anch here's how I'm anchored to the buoy. It comes from that thing there, goes up here, goes around my uh, chalk right there, and then it runs to the back of my boat, and that's what and they keep everybody in a straight line. You don't swing, which is kind of nice. Um, I changed that further line on the bottom there. You can see this white line. Changed that yesterday, but it's a piece of shit P line. I'm gonna change that again today. That's a quarter inch, I'm buying half inch. Here's my cutter sail. Here's my wind scoop. That wind scoop is nice. It's like an air conditioning for the boat. It takes the wind and it pushes it through your front hatch. Goes like that, through your hatch, and then all throughout your boat. Over here, underneath this tarp, I have my generator and a couple gas tanks because they take gas and this is a diesel boat. In this cooler, there's pretty much everything you need to rebuild or paint a boat. And I'm not bullshitting you. I have every nut and bolt, stainless steel nut and bolt you'd need to mount anything. Then I have my uh, knock on wood. Boat hook, obviously, two boat hooks over there, one up front, got a many of those. Then I got my solar panel. Then I have my Dodger and my Bimini right here. Obviously, magnetic compass, EPIRB, life raft. Come back here. Wind vane steering system. Skiff. And this is just a short deck tour. B BBQ, puppy doggy. Goddy, give me a kiss. What are you doing? Are you my doggy? Give me a kiss. Okay, now that's 5,200. That'll hold anything. Then you got that 
you got the bucket over there and that bucket's upside down on a exhaust for a for a furnace which I don't use I, uh, here comes Harbor Patrol hi good oh I already paid yeah yeah I paid William this morning yeah I paid him uh, this morning till 1 p.m. I paid for late, late leave at 1 p.m., but I was thinking about staying another day. See what I mean? They bug the shit out of you. Yeah, is this is this buoy open to stay another day? Um, I believe so. I mean, you just asked me well, for you just asked me for payment, so yeah, I guess. Well, well, it showed that you owe 17 dollars. Yeah, the reason I paid 17 is I'd paid for a late um a uh. I have credit to stay till 1 p.m. That's why that's 17, but I want to apply that to stay one more night. Okay, Do you understand what I mean? You're, you're good to eight one. For some reason, it's showing you red, though. You're good. Yeah, I know, I know. I just, I, he just moved me. I was over there for three days. Yeah, but no, no, it's showing that you're red, that you owe money, but you don't owe money. That's your whole deal. Yeah, okay. yeah, but, um, but well, let me ask you, I, 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 I'm kind of confused on what's going on. I am too. Let me call William now. I'll tell you, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm Stephen, by the way. Okay, I'm Billy. Okay, thank you, sir. See what I mean? It's a goddamn motherfucking good thing I didn't fall asleep. Because if I would have fallen asleep and this asshole would have woke me up again, I would have lost my mind. That's all right. There's my recliner. There's my recliner. Here's my wind vane steering system trying to steer my tiller. And uh, we'll, we'll get it all dialed in. Here's my uh, new chart plotter right here. This thing here is a godsend. I love this thing. It is so sweet. Um, anyway, I better take my notes with me so I remember what to do. Gotta go to US Bank. Or he's some holy hell. Yeah, these guys, man, they gotta get it. They gotta get their shit in order with a guy like me. I'm not complicated, but my sleep schedule's complicated. And uh, there's my flag, and that's my uh, my um, radar thing that shows like, because this boat's so low, you want to have a radar reflector up there. I got steps going up my mast. And uh, I don't know what else to show you. Well, I can show you my new LED light that I put on the back of my boat. The little round one was my old one, but it's covered by my wind vane steering system. And then right up to the left, there's a box that looks square. That's my LED light. And then right there, that thing there is for my um, old Raymarine uh, GPS. That's the white thing. Looks like a dildo. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put up a couple solar panels on these poles that go up and down. They're gonna run sideways, uh, vertically. All right. Well, I don't know where this guy's going, but I want to talk to him. Hey, Gilly. All right. Deck tour's over. I'm gonna go to the beach. Life's rough. Life's a beach. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna drink some more coffee and Kahlua. I get, you know, I just call it Kahlua, but don't tell my mom. It's chocolate milk. Give me a fucking break. <laughs>